Hi everyone, hope you're well. I'm really stuck as to what to do today that would be interesting. I've done a couple of things off camera though, so I'll just show you that stuff first. So the first thing is that my storeroom, I've started organising a bit more, like I said I would with the picture frames and stuff. So as you can see, lots of picture frames. I did spend some time making quite a lot of cake. Um, I'll show you something in a minute. I've just put a, uh, and this is all the coal and stuff. So I haven't moved everything down here, but you can kind of see what is moved down here from the pictures on the walls. So I think that's quite good. Um, somebody did actually tell me that you can put that glowstone doesn't count as a solid block. So I could actually do a third row of chests as it is and it was still open. I quite like the picture frames being there at the moment though and there's still plenty of room but maybe um, later on I could move the picture frames and have a third row without having to dig the floor out straight away so that's quite good news. Another thing I did was, I was very bored as you can tell, I went sailing so this is proof how bored I was and how out of ideas. I went sailing just to fill in the rest of this map you might remember there was big holes here in fact if you have the download which was available last episode and you've had a look at it you can see on the map for yourself what it looked like before as well as obviously looking at previous episodes you can see how much the map was filled in before so I finished in filling that in so that's good and when I went sailing I went and got some birch trees so I planted three trees over there as you can see um, I've got a load of saplings stored away as well, but they're quick to cut down possibly to get more saplings um, if I run out or something. But I've kind of just put them there on display for the moment. And I've realised the jungle trees don't feel that out of place. They kind of fit in quite nicely somehow. In fact, in some ways the birch feel the weirdest. Um, that one could be a bit taller. I think I think that will often come out taller than that. Um, so I might have a mix of all the trees around the island, possibly. But I think I won't put the jungle trees everywhere. In fact, I might just keep them. I might just keep that one there. But um, somehow it seems to fit in quite nicely on the end there. Maybe it's just me. Um, so what else is there? Um, that's actually everything on my list. What has happened, however, is I did experiment with trying to get some more villagers. Some of you linked me to um, a couple of different villager spawner ideas. And um, I tried making a room underground with lots of doors, which I'm not sure if it had much effect or not. I then cancelled that and um, it had a bit of an effect. Um, basically, if there's a village is separated, then other villagers try and breed with them. And um, the room with doors never gets populated because there's no way in or out. So you just get more and more villagers. Um, it didn't seem to be working very quickly. So I took all the doors and I put them all on this building instead. And I wasn't sure if it had an effect or not. But they have given birth to... Here, there's one there. The one little villager I think was in last episode grew up into an adult engineer somewhere. There they are. And um, there should be another villager with a brown coat somewhere. That's a baby one. Oh, yeah, here's another engineer. So, yeah, this is another grown-up engineer here. Um, there seems to be one missing. That's one. Is that the one I was looking for? One brown coat, two brown coat, yes. So, and then there's one or two babies running around as well. So, they do seem to have bred a few more. I think maybe just because there's so many doors on this building... But these doors do count. So there is ways of spawning loads and loads of villagers. I don't really want infinite villagers. I don't really want a whole group of them. Especially on the island. Because I think there's a limit to just how many entities you can have. And it will start to affect how many animals I can farm and stuff. And how many zombies I can get in the spawner and all sorts. So I kind of just want a modest little village. Just for a little bit of trading. And um, and I'll have a, kind of like a source of villagers for later. If I do decide that I want some crazy huge mass of villagers, I can transport villagers from here out to a colony out in the sea or something. 
we'll see in the future that's a possible project but actually having them in the area of the island I think might be a bit messy and might actually be be a bit dangerous when it comes to having too many entities and stuff it might ruin other things um, and make the game lag and all sorts of stuff so so I guess what I'll probably do next is actually go and fight the ender dragon so I'll make some preparations for that leave me some advice in the comments of course this isn't hardcore this time so if I do go and I die it's not the end of the world so what I do need to do for that is do collect enough ender pearls to make all the ender eyes I know where the um, where the stronghold is of course we've already mined our way there so I think I've got a couple of ender pearls already so I can start filling it in so I'll go out hunting I guess from the NPC village I'll go out enderman hunting and um, try and get some more pearls and stuff and then we'll go kill the ender dragon there is a wither boss as well but that's one it's a lot harder to kill from what I've heard I haven't really done much research into it yet and also I think it's harder to summon because it takes a while to actually get the wither skeletons to drop the skulls that you need to summon the wither boss so I think we'll do that after killing the ender dragon so let me know what you think in the comments, give me suggestions, as always I read them all and I will see you later.